Well, what's up guys, Sila here, and we are back with another Rate the Transmog, this time with a leather set as voted for by you guys in the last video. And we are running a bit short on leather sets, there wasn't many from, uh, for me to pick from, so if you do have a good leather set that you feels unique and isn't just using a standard tier set, then definitely um, submit it using the information in the description below. It doesn't have to be a leather set, um, you can submit like plate cloth and mail as well. But we are sort of shorter on the leather set, so if you do have a good one, please submit it. And this one's been submitted by Saxy. He hasn't left a name for it, so we're just going to go with Saxy Sexy Set. And basically, it's using mainly red. You know, the the obvious theme of the set is red. It's got the the red staff with the sort of you know red tabard, the red engineering goggles, and um, using the the rogue tier six. You know, so it all comes together quite well. It isn't just using a standard tier set. So for that. You know, giving props for the the different pieces, bringing them together to make a, a unique set. And don't forget to leave a rating one for the worst transmog you've ever seen, ten for the greatest. And we're going to move on to where the pieces for the set actually come from. If you're interested in getting it yourself. Okay, so this is the set on the armory, and as uh, always, we're going to go piece by piece and take a look at where each piece comes from, so you have a good idea of where to actually get them from. Um, now. Not all of these pieces are going to be usable by all level wearers, there are, there are a few pieces that are unique to druids, but I'm sure you'll be able to find alternatives out there to replace them with, but the, uh, the rest of it is sort of accessible by any level wearer. So first up we have the helm, and that is the Agile uh, Retinal Armor. These are the engineering crafted goggles from Mr. Pandaria. Uh, they will re require 600 engineering, they require at least level 87 to wear, and they are bind on pickup. So you won't be able to craft these on a character and send them to your main or wherever. You will need to have engineering to actually use the goggles. But you could just turn helm off or find some form of red uh, helm that does match the set. I'm not too sure if there's any other engineering goggles that are just pure red like this though. So uh, I think there is a, a set from I think TBC that you'll be able to use as an alternative. But in general, you know, you kind of stuck with those. Next up is the shoulders and. Um, as we said, these are the tier 6 rogue lookalike shoulders, mantle of darkness, so they're going to come from Black Temple. They're on a 20% drop chance from High Lord, Warlord, um, Nagentus, so a decent chance of getting it, and BT is soloable now by pretty much anyone, so you should be able to go in there and solo it and have a chance of getting the shoulders. The next piece of the set is the cape, and that is the cape of the Black Baron. So that's going to come from um, Rivendare from Strathelholm. Still, it's from the current version, so that's fine. It drops in normal mode, and it's on a 12% drop rate. So very easily soloable, and if you don't get it on the first time, you will be able to run out, reset the dungeon, and run back in. But it is pretty much just a black cape, so you'll probably find an alternative or even a better matching cape for the set. The next piece up is the chess piece, and that is the Gladiator's Dragon Hide Tunic. I believe that's a TBC? Oh, it's, yeah, no, a Wrath. No, it's TBC. A TBC um, PvP item, just for druids only, so if you aren't a druid, you'll have to find an alternative to that. Um, but it's just a red chess piece, so I'm sure you'll be able to find some form of alternative to, to replace that with. And there are quite a few out there. Actually, they're only the PvP ones as well. But still, you've, you've got plenty of options. I'm sure you'll be able to find a red chess piece out there that'll match the set. Next up is the tabard, and normally we, we don't do tabards, but this tabard is a part of the set. And that is the consortium tabard. Um, it will require you to be exalted with the consortium, I believe. Yep, yeah, does require exalted. Consortium can be done by handing in the war beads, so in um, Nagrand. So it won't take you too long, take about four or five hours of grinding the war beads and handing them in, and then you'll get the consortium tabard. But there are quite a few sort of reddish tabards that would match the set as well. The next piece up here isn't using any braces for the transmog, so next would be gloves, and that is the dragons, uh, the gladiators dragon hide gloves once again, which is the level 70 PvP gloves for druids. So you'll have to find some form of alternative to the gloves as well. Uh, the next piece up would be the uh, belt, and that is the Wanderer's Belt. That is a green, and it's a, a world drop BOE from Vanilla. So you'll have an okay chance of getting this. You'll probably pick it up off the auction house for an okay amount of gold. I don't think this is too sort of of a, a sought after item, so you should be able to pick it up off the auction house if you're on a, a medium pop realm. If not, there's plenty of mobs that you can try and farm to get it, and good luck with that. It's a level 49 mob, so uh, 49 
height him so mobs around sort of the 45 to 55 area should drop it. And next up is the legs, and these are the Titan Forge Leather Leg Guards of Triumph. And I believe you can use these, yeah, you can use these as a Rogue Monk and Druid. You'll pick these up from Winter's Grasp, and they will cost you 500 honor, just less than 500 honor. Your faction will need to be in control of Winter's Grasp to purchase them, though. And once you can, uh, once they yeah, are, you just go and play in and buy them. The next piece up is the boots. And these are the Sun Rage Treads, these come from Magister's Terrace, and they come from Kel'Thas. They're on a 15% drop chance, and they are in the normal mode difficulty. An interesting advert right there. And uh, they are in normal mode, so you will be able to run in, kill the boss, and run out and reset it, and just repeat that until you do get the boots. So, a decent chance of getting them. And apparently they're on a 3% treads drop there, 3% chance drop there, and 15 there, so take it as you will. And finally, the weapon. The weapon is the Gladiator's War Staff. You'll pick that up once again, a TBC item, but it's, it should, I think it's still in the game. It says no longer in the game, but I swear they re-added this. I'm not too sure on that, though. I believe they re-added these recently, though, the level 70 PvP items. Um, maybe not, though. I could be wrong on that one. Uh, if not, you can go, if the are in the game, you go to Neverstorm, you go to Area 51, I think, and you'll be able to pick it up there. If not, then you'll have to find some form of red alternative to the staff. And there you go, that is all the items from the set. So, you know, most of them are pretty easy to get. Most of them are just purchased or from dungeons that you can farm multiple times very quickly to get. Uh, the only items you'll probably struggle with is the helm, the shoulders, um, maybe the belt, and that'd pretty much be it. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, look out for more Rate the Transmogs coming soon, don't forget to leave a rating for the Transmog, and submit a set if you have a cool and unique set. Thanks for watching guys, oh, Area 52. Thanks for watching guys, see ya!